Hi, this is Igor from HDHand.com. In this tutorial, we'll cover something that's not exciting at all, but it's very important nevertheless, and it has to do with the order of processing in the new Resolve version 15 internal pipeline. This applies to version 15 beta 2. There's no guarantee any of this will remain the way it is right now. So before you take my word as set in stone, make sure to check what version you have and whether or not what I'm about to describe still applies. All right, we are on the edit page of Resolve. There's one time lapse of a opening hibiscus flower. And go to the effects library and apply any effect at all. I will look for open effects blur. And as you can see, the flower is blurred. Now I will go to the fusion page. And the blur is gone. But if I go back out to the edit page, the blur is there. As you can see, there's a certain order of how these processing operations are applied. To continue, I will turn off the effects library and enable the inspector. Go to the open effects and hit the trash can icon to delete the box blur that we applied. Let's also make the inspector pane tall. The internal processing pipeline roughly takes this order from left to right, the way the buttons are laid out at the bottom. We will skip the Fairlight page. We're only concerned with picture right now. And I'm saying roughly because it's not quite the same. There's a little bit of zigzagging going on. We're here on the edit page. There's a single clip, no effects. There's no change to this clip whatsoever. And let's crop the left side and maybe move it to the right. Let's go to Fusion now. Whatever we did to the geometry of that picture on the edit page is maintained in Fusion. And that's the general rule. Anything that has to do with the geometry on the inspector page is carried over to the Fusion page. Let's reset what we just did. And let's alter some of the non-geometry parameters like composite mode. Let's go to Fusion, see what the effect is. and we see that our transfer mode selection is not being respected in Fusion. That applies only after the Fusion when we exit the edit page. Much the same way the open effects that we applied under the clip was applied after the Fusion, if that makes sense, even though it's applied on the edit page. Let's put that back to our normal composite mode. Now let's try the time parameters. So that's a time lapse of a flower opening. But if you right click, change clip speed, and I'll make this pretty low so we can definitely see the difference. At 10% speed, it's a very slow opening of the flower. Let's take that to Fusion now. And the flower in Fusion is still opening at the original 100% speed. So we know that retiming is also applied after Fusion. Okay, I'll right click this thing, go to change clip speed. Let's put it back at 100%. And let's go to color page. We'll make something very obvious, make it black and white. Go to Fusion. And our color selection is not being piped into Fusion. It's applied after Fusion. So that's our basic order of operations. This order of operations kind of begs the question, well, what happens if we want to color correct a clip before we send it to Fusion? Obviously, what we just tried didn't work. The workaround is to right-click the clip, create a compound clip, and then take the compound clip into Fusion. And as you can see now, the Fusion is operating on top of that compound clip, so the black and white color is visible inside Fusion. And the same thing is true for Timeline Applied Open Effects. I will press Undo. Let's go to the Effects Library and apply that same box blur. So now we have a combination of box blur and desaturation. If I right-click the clip, create a new compound clip, call it Blurred, take that to Fusion, our timeline open effects is now visible inside of Fusion. Another important consideration is that any pixels that are pushed out of the frame using the geometry controls on the edit page cannot be recovered in Fusion. They're cut off. Here's your basic order of operations. I hope this tutorial was helpful and check out my other result tutorials.